Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to draw a card to the screen, and that'll be the only thing we do is we're just going to get this set up. Um, it can be a little bit uh, difficult to get all 52 in. Uh, you'll make some mistakes, but I'll try to give you a shortcut here that'll make it a little bit easier. You can see that I've got a folder here uh, that has all my pictures in it. I'm going to show you where I got them and uh, what you need to do to get them in. So if I go to the uh, BT Sync folder, which is around here somewhere, MNT, BT Sync, Afternoon Classes, Blackjack, you can see I've got a card deck dot tar. Copy that up somewhere to your home folder. I just created a folder here called Blackjack Cards and extract it right click and then extract you know and then you've got your all your playing cards and I've taken the time to rename them all so they'll work in the application so there are no um, symbols or anything that don't work a lot of times if you include graphics inside of an application you can really only use lowercase letters you know and, and so um, I went in and I just formatted everything out so every card is labeled nicely I figure that's a bit of a time saver instead of having you sit there and label all the cards I could do it once and, uh, and save you some time there. So uh, what I've done is you hit Control A and you're going to copy, Control C to copy everything, right? And we're going to head back to our um, uh, our project here. And inside of Res now, um, we're going to create a folder called Drawable. You have to spell it right. You're going to right click. You're going to choose New, and you're going to create a new um, directory, and you're going to call it Drawable and then it'll appear there and then right click and uh, you should be able to uh, just right click and then paste alright and it will paste, it'll, it'll ask, it'll say uh, do you want to copy specified files the answer is yes and then you'll have a drawable folder that has all your cards in it okay so pause the video and get your drawable folder set up okay so now I'm going to jump over to panel and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, up here inside of panel where it says context, context, a, a trib set, okay? This is our constructor, all right? And so I am going to, when the panel is first set up, I'm going to initialize all these cards and make them variables that I can then manipulate. So you can take a bitmap basically and load it into a variable just like you can take an integer and load it into a variable. Um, so here I've got uh, two clubs, and I've up at the very top, I said, okay, here's a bitmap called two clubs. All right, and this is a global variable. And I said, okay, I'm going to set two clubs equal to bitmap factory. And let's see if I had to do any imports here, probably. Huh? Uh, you can see that the imports are going to have to come in bitmap, bitmap factory, some of these things, okay. Um, dot decode resource. Uh, and then it's get resources. And again, if you're typing this out, it's going to give you lots of autocomplete options. And then uh, the second va uh, value here is r.drawable.2clubs. All right. And if you get this bitmap factory.decode resource in, it will decode that two clubs, which is down here, into this variable. Okay. And then inside of our onDraw method, I can do canvas.drawBitmap. And it takes the argument bitmap, left, top, and then it needs this paint. You know, I could probably make this paint null, and I bet it would still work. Because I don't think I'm using the paint for anything. All right. Um, so when I run this application, it's not going to look like that. Let's go ahead and see what choices I get here. Here it comes. you'll get a big card okay and so you could go into the GIMP and you could resize the images probably if you were going to try to publish this for whatever reason you want to have small images and you want to try to scale everything down as much as possible that's probably the best option but uh, once again you can do all this programmatically so I've got this here uh, two clubs here this card is going to be bitmap .create scaled bitmap uh, and it's going to take the bitmap to be scaled and then you're going to do the size and the width. And I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to do, you know, just divide it by three and just make it one third the size that it normally is. And with these two together, if I run the app, uh, the card's going to come up one third 
of its size and we should see a two of clubs all right so this is where things get a little bit um, difficult here uh, you're gonna wanna you need to create yes you do have to manually enter all 52 cards okay and you do have to set the deck up and you have to have handles on each one of the cards okay I'm gonna give you a shortcut on how to do that I'm gonna pause the video while I what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up one suit you can go two clubs through king Okay, and you're going to get all this stuff in. So I'm going to pause the video while I do just one suit. And that's what you need to do. You need to set your whole club suit up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that you're not necessarily drawing them. You don't want to draw them all. But you want to definitely have these things working here. Where you've got your bitmap factory and you're creating a scaled bitmap from it. Okay, so pause the video. I'm going to do the same. Okay. So now I have an entire club suit set up, and I could draw any one of these, and I could test them out, and they would work. Um, so I've got, um, let's make sure we're good, here we are. So I've got two clubs, three clubs, four clubs, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, um, a jack, queen, king, ace. Okay, and each one points to the correct card, and each one is scaled, and up at the top I have a bitmap for each one. Okay. So now let's use our text editor um, to just sort of go in, and I guess we could, um, now I guess the best thing to do is open up a separate text editor for this. So I'm going to open up a new text editor, and I'm going to take these bitmaps here, copy, paste, and just do a find replace now, and I'll go edit, uh, let's see here, search, replace, and I'm going to take the word clubs, and I'll replace it with diamonds. All right. I'll do a replace all. All right, and this is good to do here. So now we've got two diamonds, three diamonds, and the way I've got this set up, it works out pretty easily. Work smarter, not harder, right? Okay, and so now I've got two diamonds, three diamonds, and all this stuff. Okay, and I could do this for clubs, or excuse me, for um, hearts, spades as well. And uh, okay, so now I can come over here and I can delete this, and I can take the corresponding reference inside of our constructor method here and I can just basically run that same find replace right uh, I can go edit search replace clubs with diamonds replace all close control a copy and then down here like this now I've got a reference on diamonds so once I've done the clubs you can find replace that and you can do diamonds and you can do hearts and you can do spades uh, the hard part is just setting up your clubs but once you have that done the rest of the deck goes down pretty easily and uh, in the next video we'll start uh, drawing the cards as they sort of relate to uh, the shuffled deck so good luck getting that set up and let me know if you need help